Tower. Thank you for joining me today for this contemplative service. This is offered through St. Andrew's Episcopal Church in Seattle, Washington. I'm also joined today by Kester Limner and Andy Myers, uh, two other parishioners at St. Andrew's who have contributed music and chants in the spirit of today. I hope wherever you are and however you are, you can bring yourself, your spirit to this time. If you have any candles, feel free to bring those and we'll light them later when we pray. But make yourself comfortable, find a safe and still space, and join me as we open with this third Sunday in Advent. And I'll open with some words from the prophet of Isaiah. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release 
to the prisoners. To proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all who mourn. To provide for those who mourn in Zion. To give them a garland instead of ashes. The oil of gladness instead of mourning. The mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. They will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord to display his glory. They shall build up the ancient ruins. They shall raise up the former devastations. They shall repair the ruined cities, the devastations of many generations. For as the earth brings forth its shoots, and as a garden causes what is sown in it to spring up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all nations. Blessed be God, creator, redeemer, and spirit of love. And blessed be God's beloved community, now and forever. Grace to you and peace from God, our creator, the love at our beginning and without end, in our midst and with us now. God is with us. Here we find new life. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Join me now as we move more deeply into silence and resting in God. Living spirit, whose breath gives life to the world and whose voice is heard in the soft breeze, we need your strength and wisdom. Come breathe among us and within us. Gather us with your whole creation as together we embody the transforming love of Christ Jesus, our Redeemer. Amen.
And now join me for a reading from the Gospel of John. This is the testimony given by John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He confessed and did not deny it, but confessed, I am not the Messiah. And they asked him, What then? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. Then they said to him, Who are you? Let us have an answer for those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord. As the prophet Isaiah said.
For our spouses, partners, roommates, family members, and friends, as we all learn new ways of relating and being with each other. Oh Lord, we pray. kids and teens as they deal with new ways of going to school and are missing their friends. Oh Lord, we pray. For our beloved elders and our dear friends with health conditions as they face continued danger from infection. Oh Lord, we pray. For all who have died as they come into the light of your glorious presence. Oh Lord, we pray. doctors, nurses, medical personnel, and researchers as they work difficult and stressful hours to help us. Oh Lord, we pray. For all low-paid essential workers as they persevere through a lack of adequate protection, sick leave, or medical insurance. Oh Lord, we pray. For our neighbors who suffer from housing insecurity and food insecurity, and for our country and state as we realize the need for social safety nets. Oh Lord, we pray. For school leaders, church leaders, business leaders, and government leaders as they struggle to chart a path into the unknown. Oh Lord, we pray. For all of humanity, as we learn new ways of understanding the economy and the health of the earth. Oh Lord, we pray. people of our church community that we may stay connected in love and serve in joy as we are able to serve. Oh Lord, we pray. this time I invite us into a time of prayer. I will light these candles here and feel free to light your own if you have them. Let us offer our hearts to God.
Now I invite you to pray with me the Lord's Prayer. Eternal Spirit, Earth Maker, Pain Bearer, Life Giver, Source of all that is and that shall be, Father and Mother of us all, Loving God in whom is heaven, the hallowing of your name echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trial too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. As I pondered the invitation of the scripture today of John the Baptist, it's talking about a voice crying out in the wilderness, prepare the way. I contemplated how we prepare the way for Christ in our lives and how sometimes it feels like a wilderness. In Advent, the season of waiting and yearning for what is to come is surely in many ways bringing to light where we are um, as, a, as a people, as a culture, as a planet in waiting, preparing the way, always preparing the way. So I thought of this desire to know and, and to find the way. I thought of this prayer from Thomas Merton. So pray with me as we close. My Lord God, I have no idea where I am going. I do not see the road ahead of me. I cannot know for certain where it will end. Nor do I really know myself. And the fact that I think I am following your will does not mean that I am actually doing so. But I believe that the desire to please you does in fact please you. And I hope I have that desire in all that I am doing. I hope that I will never do anything apart from that desire. And I know that if I do this, you will lead me by the right road, though I may know nothing about it. Therefore, will I trust you always, though I may seem to be lost and in the shadow of death. I will not fear, for you are ever with me, and you will never leave me to face my perils alone. Amen. Emmanuel, God with us. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining us today um, in this time of silence and prayer and song and word. I hope it has ministered to you. It always ministers to me. And now as we go out into another week, a blessing for the journey and ascending forth in peace.
the peace of the living Christ be always with you. Let us go forth bearing God's peace to the world. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia.